This family of five lives in an old school bus, but inside, Dad's turned it into a stunning new home. Brian and Starla Sullivan are a married couple with three young children, and in 2014, the Sullivans were living in a rented apartment in Renton, Washington. But three years on, their circumstances have changed quite dramatically. The couple weren't completely happy with their living situation back in 2014. In fact, they were growing more and more frustrated with the amount of money they were forking out for rent. As 26-year-old Starla told the Daily Mail in February of 2017, the couple were paying around $1,500 every month. But that wasn't all that bothered them. The Sullivans were also generally unhappy that they weren't able to buy a home of their own and that Brian, a 29-year-old aerospace assembly mechanic, had to travel an hour to work every day. Plus, the family didn't feel a part of their neighborhood community. Clearly, it was time for the Sullivans to change something about their living arrangements. Their next move, then, was not only brave but also very clever. It all started when the couple sat down to watch some YouTube videos about people who lived in unusual homes. They soon learned about some people who lived in a bus, and it sparked an idea. We just kind of looked at each other and were like, do you want to live in a bus with me? Starla told the Daily Mail. Initially, Brian didn't think his wife was serious, but it turned out that she was very serious. So they actually did it. First, the Sullivans paid $2,800 for a school bus. It needed some renovation, but it seemed that they had finally managed to purchase a home for their growing family. They named the new bus Big Bertha and got started on doing it up. Amazingly, it took another $30,000 to get the vehicle up to the standard they wanted, but just under a year after buying the bus, the Sullivans moved in with their three boys. The couple grafted hard that year, with neither of them having had much experience in house renovations. We laughed, we yelled, we spent the first year of our marriage building our dream home together with our bare hands. And we're still married, Starla later joked. But the hard work paid off. Indeed, the bus now has literally everything the family needs. Their kitchen has enough space to fit an oven, a microwave, a sink, a washing machine, and work surfaces. And there's even a little fireplace to keep the family warm in the winter. In a YouTube video about the Sullivan's unconventional living situation, the couple expressed the importance of having a bath on board, so they made sure to install one big enough for all the kids. They also fitted the school bus with a clever sofa that pulls out into a full-size bed. It's valuable extra space. After all, the Sullivan sons, Charlie, Henry, and Lincoln, may all be under the age of three, but they're growing up fast. The Sullivans are now paying just $500 a month to live on the school bus, far less than what they used to pay. We now have money to eat the food that we want and go the places we want, Starla said in the YouTube video. We pay a third of the cost now and we have money to pay off debts and student loans, Starla added. Of course, many people would be envious of this financial situation, but it certainly hasn't been smooth sailing for the Sullivans. Indeed, they've had their fair share of plumbing problems, which have sometimes left them with no water. Furthermore, there have been times when they've lost electricity or faced cold nights due to propane reserves running out. Whenever any of those things happen, I'm just grateful that they haven't all happened at the same time, jokes Starla. It certainly seems that the Sullivans are more than able to maintain a positive attitude when things go wrong with their mobile home. But do the parents see their new home as a long-term solution? Well, Starla believes it will be possible to raise her three sons in the school bus. They might be short on space, but she said that the full-length mattresses will allow them to grow into it. And the Sullivans don't seem in any rush to move back into a conventional apartment or house. Indeed, they've said that if they were to move out of the school bus, they'd go somewhere equally ridiculous. Starla even said they'd like to build a house out of mud one day. It's easy to see why Starla and Brian aren't keen to give up their new style of living. After all, they're paying significantly less rent. Plus, if Brian gets a different job, it's not a problem at all. The family and their home can just move closer to it. Starla refers to her and her husband as ridiculous people. Whether they're ridiculous or not, they're certainly brave and unconventional. Share this story with your friends below.